Pressure. It pushes down on all of us sometimes. And I'll admit, I've been under a lot of pressure lately. To conform. To be normal. To find my way in daily life, generally. But when I'm dealing with these kinds of issues, I find a lot of comfort in nature. And I find a lot of answers on trail. When you're screaming, let me out. Be sure to find a way to let go of some of that pressure. And always be yourself and try to be happy. Welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. It's the terror of knowing what the world is about. Watching some good friends screaming, let me out. Pray tomorrow gets me higher. Pressure all people, people on streets. So what's the plan for today? More than anything, just to get my feet wet for the season. Hopefully not literally, but just kind of hit a trail and do some dispersed camping, which is allowed here in Minnesota in state forests. And this one's a small one, about 680 acres, uh, surrounded by lakes and things. So I don't really know what to expect, but I'm just gonna hit this trail, uh, do an out and back so I don't get lost and take you with me. So far, so good. The hustle out here is real. I used to try to sell beef fingers. And then the chicken nugget people came by and put my people into a position where we had to just fight for ourselves and Beef fingers didn't take off. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. When so part of what you're gonna get in state forests is a lot of blowdowns. Which just adds to the adventure, right? So behind me is some sort of uh, mass gathering of amphibians. That's pretty trippy sound. So the trails out here are not well marked and I am uh, using very deep caution to know exactly where I'm going. And uh, in a pinch, a trick I like to use is I'll take photos or videos of a trail crossing or any confusing spot so that worst case scenario I have that uh, identifier on video or captured it on a photo. But I spy with my little eye one of my favorite things which I know this is uh, Birch Lake State Park famous for the birch trees but one of my favorite things about Minnesota are pine groves. And here in central Minnesota they are few and far between but uh, no matter what, when I see them, I'm always intrigued. So I'm going to go take a peek back in this little pine grove, see if it wouldn't be a feasible spot to camp tonight. This is looking promising. Uh, beautiful. What I like best about pine grove is uh, not only the tree, but the way the forest floor stays clean from undergrowth a lot of the times. Usually it's pine needles. A little grass growing here, which it's nice to see some green. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna dig around through here, see if I can't find a nice spot to hang a hammock. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange. I've been hiking around indecisively all afternoon, 
Uh, I decided to dip out of that uh, little pine grove just simply because it's too early in the day and uh, I want to do some more hiking. So I had to, headed down this trail and ended up on a little gravel road and looked up on the map and found this little walk-in camp. And the mischievous side of me thinks maybe I should just uh, take the lazy man's route tonight. This campground is currently closed. So what harm would I be doing if I just uh, camped here? And technically, I'm in the state forest, so I don't know that I'm not following the rules. I guess I'll find out. So yeah, I might set my hammock up here take advantage of this ready-made firewood and just have a lazy night it's about five o'clock and would have taken me some time to dig a fire pit and all that fun stuff now i can skip it chipping around kick my brains around the floor these are the days and never rains but it pours It's the terror of knowing what the world is about. Watching some good friends screaming. Let me out. Pray to so there was a point in the 80s when we had beef fingers selling beef fingers. Beef fingers, 12, 1,300 pounds a day. Just beef fingers all day. Then somebody came along and said, hey, McDonald's, you want a McNugget? How about chicken? And the rest is history. So me and my homeboys... We had to deal with it. And beef fingers, they never took off. You know, <laughs> chip nuggets. Heading on up the hill here. It's no mountain by any means. But I'm hoping I can get a good view of uh, maybe a valley or something. You never know. Either way, I'll get a better vantage point for sunset. It's kind of hard to see. It's tan season in Minnesota. But we'll see what it looks like from up here. And I'll share it with y'all. Wish I had some beef nuggets. Show you guys the view. Turned away from it all like a blind man I sat on a fence, but it don't work Keep coming up with love, but it's so slashed and torn Why, 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 why night so it's been a hell of a weird day I promise I'm not on drugs or anything just one of those days where nature kind of kicked me in the ass and made me feel normal again which as you all know is weird so I'll see you all in the morning but for now I'm signing off good night everybody good morning I slept late. You're not going to believe what time it is. It's 10.15. <laughs> so that's not going to fly for a backpacking season. We'll have to start setting an alarm. This hammock is real comfy.
Goodbye, camp. Time to head back to the car. I need a rock star real bad this morning. I only got a couple miles to go, so. Onward. All right, so I'm about to back to my car. Pretty boring hike out this morning, but quiet and peaceful, wind free. This little overnight's been a uh, dose of good medicine. So anyway, back to the car. I'd like to thank everybody out there for your continued support and kindness. And I really do feel like you're all a big part of a massive community slash family. And I'm happy to be part of it. There's the old Subaru. So be yourselves. Be happy. We're going to see you real soon, everybody. What do you guys think of this uh, tough guy biker look? Makes me feel kind of tough. Like Rocky. Beating my meat like it owes me money.